Welcome back to the channel. Uh, what time is it? The time is 9.20. Um, I love Florida. I'm all over the place, fam. Before we get started with today and I tell you the agenda, I just want to say how much I freaking love Florida. I love Florida. It was hard for me to adjust at first because of the heat, the humidity, and just the driving just being in a new state i was like i'm ready to go start my travel which i am but now that i'm starting to get used to florida driving in florida just knowing the ropes uh city hopping um i'm gonna stay in florida for a bit at least a, a month month and a half somewhere i don't know somewhere like that at least a good month and i'm gonna beach hop uh state park hop like florida has so much to offer i freaking love florida um so what are we gonna do today there is a uh, springs called, um, doing my research, I found a, a springs called Rainbow Springs State Park. And um, it's about an hour and 30 minute drive from where I'm at. And uh, I wanna go check it out. Um, I feel like it's a chill day today. It's about 55 degrees, it's pretty windy. So it's a, it's a little bit of chilly. It's, I think it's supposed to warm up today. Let me check the forecast. The forecast says that it's supposed to get a high of 72, which is awesome. And it's going to be partly cloudy. So by 4 p.m., it'll be in the 70s. It'll be in the 60s before then. But we're going to go to this uh, Rainbow Springs uh, State Park and check it out. Okay, don't judge me. Uh, I went to 7-Eleven and got a large cold brew, black coffee with ice um essentially when the ice melts it'll become a um, an americano but i need my coffee what let's see how their coffee tastes it's actually not bad okay it's all right i'll see you marathon it's all right oh, let's get out of here we got an hour and 30 minute drive I will see you guys when I'm on the road. like we are here um what does this say attention campers rainbow springs state park campground is approximately seven miles away to get to campground go north okay day use only okay let's see if this is it okay we're here rainbow springs uh park closes at 8 p.m today okay um turtles share the road with turtles people and everything else i love turtles a answer me this question for all my nature enthusiasts enthusiasts how is it that turtles are so slow but they're so fast let me explain i remember when i was a kid i found a turtle in my front yard i was super excited and uh, one day I took the turtle out uh, in a little box to give it some sun. And then I literally went in the house for less than like a minute. I came out, the box was tipped and the turtle was gone. It, no one was in my yard. The turtle was freaking gone. I don't know. Anyways, enjoy the view. So we're here. I literally don't know where to go, but I'm gonna start following the herd because I saw a lot of people go with like kayaks and uh, canoes and stuff. But this is where I'm parked. We'll do a different view. Um, I'll show you right there um, I don't really like parking under the trees I literally should have parked like right there because I don't know what's dripping out of that tree hopefully like no sap or anything 
I do have some trash I need to get rid of, so I'm bringing that with me. So let's roll. Let me make sure my door's locked. I know I locked it, but I want to double check. Okay, it's locked. I don't think there's any trash. That looks like a trash can. What is this, trash? Yep, trash, we found it. All right, let's start this away. Here you go. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Anyway, so it's too cold to get in that water. Um, it's about 60 degrees and windy. And uh, um, they say the current temp in that water is um, 72 degrees. Yeah, that's cold. So here we go. Park information, foot traffic only. Admission is $2 per person. Swim area closes at 515, no lifeguard on duty. And then just other things. So, but yeah. I'm always skeptical about marshes like that. Um, I gotta get used to Florida because my head goes straight to alligators, right? But anyways, uh, the only signs I saw were turtles. But let me get my little exercise and make my walk in and I'll get back to you when we're closer to the springs. Blue, green, beautiful see-through water. Um, look at me looking. I'm telling you, fam, if I see an alligator, I'm running and I'm leaving y'all. If I have to drop this camera, it's gone. Goodbye. Okay, we're not putting that out there. It is beautiful, though. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm closer to the springs. Never mind, you do have to pay. I thought they were working on the little booth back there, but look. This is where you pay. Thankfully, I brought my wallet. So let's pay and get in. Wow, even the view from here is nice. Okay, this is what it looks like when you first enter into the springs. Do you look at that? Stunning. And then they just got like a place where you can like, I guess, shop. Let's go. Again, this is a place where I probably would want to come really early, like right when they open. Oh, this water is, oh man, oh fam. This is what I love about Florida. It just never gets old. Okay, I'm done talking. Look how beautiful that water is. You see those turtles? You can't see them, but... Now my thing is, why I got these cages? Why I got these cages? Am I gonna be surprised? I'll see you guys in a minute. I gotta keep on my guard. You just know there's alligators out there waiting. That's beautiful though. I mean, we're gonna see if we can find a better way to get to this clear water right here. It's beautiful. All right, let's get out of here. I missed the waterfall somehow. Maybe I shouldn't have made that right. I should have made a left. That's why they got the cages. Because there's alligators in that water. On both sides of those cages. Look at that swamp. Look at that. Nature is so beautiful. Well, I've learned if you mind your business. Don't go looking for trouble, trouble won't find you. But I hear the waterfall.
for me to go. I'm glad that people are here having a, a lot of fun. There is a lot of people here. Um, I wanted to get some shots of that beautiful water without a thousand people in it. It's not a thousand. Look at me being over exaggerated. Oh, look, I knew it. I knew it. I found it. If I would have seen that, that trails. Oh my gosh. Woo. Uh, God must have known that I uh, really wanted to um, experience <laughs> the trails because he knew if I saw that, fam, we wouldn't have been doing no trail, waterfall, uh, sightseeing. It would not have happened. But I always kept people in front of me. Look, I can't be the bait. We always go first in the scary movies. Anyways, I'll see you guys when I get back to the van. Um, I found a really nice rest area. Uh, today's a rest area day. Um, I had a good time at the, uh, I think it's Rainbow Springs uh, State Park. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, as I was leaving, uh, all the parking spots were filled. Um, they were, they were uh, probably a few left. And what happens is when their parking spots get filled, they close the park. No one else is allowed to go in. So I'm definitely going to go back to that Springs, but I'm going to go really early, like right when they open. So I can get some really just some alone time and just kind of be out there. But uh, beware of the gators, right? I'm done running around for today. I'm exploring. Uh, don't worry. Tomorrow, um, I have an idea of kind of where I want to try and stealth camp. I'm super excited about that. So that'll be something that uh, I'll be looking forward to doing. Um, uh, also, I talked to one of the locals at uh, the place where I went to get my license, which showed a Florida license, my registration uh, done, getting my new pla license plates, and switching my Michigan title over to a Florida title, which I'm done, by the way. Everything is done. I am now a Floridian. Florida, I got a Florida driver's license. I got my Florida plates, uh, my registration, Florida, and my title switched over from Michigan to Florida. I am done. And let me tell you, that, that ran me over $500. That was pretty expensive, but it was well worth it. And uh, I didn't know Florida loves their military. They love, love, love military. And so um, when I got my driver's license, I was shocked to see that they, they put veteran on my driver's license. They have to verify, of course, with my DD-214. But on my driver's license, I have veteran because they said that there's a lot of discounts for military veterans, current, former, retired, all of that. And so I was super excited. Like Florida really tr treats military like like gold. I love it. So anyways, I was talking to one of the locals and asking her, you know, where can I go or the, so some more of the more private beaches where not a lot of uh, people or tourists go. And she told me about a beach and I don't want to tell you, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but um, I'm definitely going to be checking that beach out tomorrow and then seeing if I can do some stealth camping in that area. I'm super excited. I did look at the beach online. It's super gorgeous. Gorge, gorge. So... Yeah, right now, we're like I said, we're on our way. We're gonna hunker down at this rest stop, which is really nice, and uh, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna lay down, try to cool off, because the current temp is 82 degrees, and then I'll see you guys for dinner. Dinner time, woohoo! Let's get out of here. So I'm gonna show you kind of where I'm at. I'm at a nice truck stop. Um, it's a lot of trucks. Um, I pulled in for the first time ever because it was just easier to park that way. But kind of this is where I'm at. And um, it's not a bad looking uh, truck stop. Or truck stop, rest stop. Let me show you out the passenger. 
That's where I'm at. So, yep. And, uh, sorry I'm on my phone. I'm charging my camera. Um, and what I like about this rest stop is that not only is it big and nice, uh, it's got armed security. Um, they, uh, patrol and they're armed, so you feel really safe. So, this is where I'm hunkered down for the night and, uh, I'll get up bright and early in the morning and, um, get my day started by hitting up the beach. So, I'll see you guys for dinner. So I'm cooking this, uh, the rest of this coleslaw mix. Um, I got about a day left on it. This is probably one of the quietest rest stops I've been to. Not one of the quietest, but it's up there. I'm just stir frying this in some um, chili oil. Uh, olive oil infused chili, my favorite. So this is just something I'm putting together uh, with whatever I have left in my uh, fridge. I'm gonna use some of this uh, Red Hot, uh, Frank's Red Hot seasoning. I wanna have, I want this to have a little bit of a kick. Little bit of salt, I'll put it in my hand. Uh, do a little onion salt, garlic powder, that's it for the seasoning. So now I put it in this bowl. <coughs> <laughs> and I got this all natural uh, fajita seasoned chicken. I'm just gonna <clears throat> add a little bit to the pan. You know why I'm gonna cook it all today? If I have leftovers, so be it. And I'm going to vent my van out. I'm going to turn my vent on tonight. Turn this down. So I'm going to let this cook. So now that this is almost done, I'm going to add the coleslaw mix back into it. And this is a <clears throat> way that you can get a lot of protein in. It'll fill you up. It's, it's healthy. It's high protein, low carbs, um, not a lot of calories. The only calories you're really getting is from the chicken mix, which is not a lot. <clears throat> and uh, low carbs, you know? So we're gonna let that finish cooking up and uh, Sorry, I got my fan on. That's what you're hearing. I'm venting out my van so it doesn't smell like food. So now we're gonna add some cheese. <clears throat> I forgot I bought this cheese. It's been in my fridge for a minute. It's still good. Let me check, check. yeah. Yeah, it's still good. Just opening it. We're gonna add a little cheese. You're like, that's not a little. If you knew how much I like cheese, you'll know that's a little. Get a little closer. Now we're gonna mix it. And it'll be time to eat. I love making um, stir fry dishes like this. You could even put this um, in a taco, a soft taco, or a, a flour tortilla, whatever you want. Or you can make a chipotle bowl out of it. 
throw some rice on it or rice cauliflower, throw this on top. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. It's just simple dishes, guys. It doesn't have to be hard. Here's the finished results. I'm gonna add a little hot honey um, just to offset the tartness because we did add um, we did add um, you know the cheese and the seasonings and the salt so it's like a, a sweet heat kind of flavor I, I put a tiny bit you don't listen guys when I cook these kind of meals you don't have to copy me verbatim um, you can just use this as inspiration for your own dishes like if you have a bag of like uh, greens, anything but lettuce. Do you have a bag of greens that you need to cook that's going bad? Saute them, throw your favorite protein in there, a little bit of cheese if you want, favorite seasonings, and you got you a meal. I mean, look at that. First bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. It's good, huh? And I know a lot of times like a lot of the food I make doesn't make sense. Some people, you know, may see it as you're just throwing a bunch of stuff together. Not there is a method to my madness. And if you tried it or get inspiration from it, you'll see that it's actually good. <laughs> um, you know. Mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> I can eat this every day. It's, it's the perfect amount of everything. And I don't really write these recipes down that I make up. I do have my YouTube videos to go back on, fall back on, if I ever need to know how I did it. Um, But please, either try it how I made it or gain inspiration from it. And I know a lot, some of y'all don't like heat or a lot of you don't like heat or spice. You don't have to have the Frank's Red Hot Pepper that that's or seasoning. That's really good, actually. You don't have to use the uh, olive, the chili infused olive oil. You could use regular olive oil, olive oil, avocado oil. You know, you can use garlic, you know, salt, um, onion powder, and whatever other seasonings you like. You don't have to use chicken. You can use beef, steak. See, you could use shrimp, imitation crab, turkey. Rice would go really nice with this. Or even lentils would go nice with this. Layer it with lentils on the bottom and this concoction on top. That would be really nice. Today was very productive. And I always say that, but I just had a good day. You know? Um... Went to the Rainbow um, Springs Park, hung out. Um, I drove around, you know, got some things done. Went to the dollar store, got up, picked up a couple things, did some errands. And then I, you know, found a really nice rest stop and I chilled for the day. I don't want to drive all day. I want to, you know, give my van a break. I did schedule two appointments today um, for next week. So next week I have an appointment to get my engine inspected since I put over 1,600 miles on it. And they're just going to inspect it. And um, oil change on top of that. I, I am due for another oil change, if you can believe that. And um, I have an appointment next Wednesday with the... Uh, no, next Tuesday I have an appointment with the RV people. They're going to look at my shower. And uh, this chipped at the bottom. Uh, I saw it. I, I'm like, only thing that's up against that is the cushions. So next Tuesday I have an uh, apartment, uh, apartment, an appointment with the RV center to... You know get this uh it's looked at and potentially order the parts and get my shower looked at and then next wednesday i have an appointment to get my engine inspected make sure everything looks good and to get an oil change my motto is proactive uh overreactive and some people might be like oh that's a little excessive you just got your you know engine inspected before you left no i don't think it's obsessive i mean if i have the money and i can do it and i'll put a ton of miles on it why not i'd rather 
make sure nothing is wrong with it than to have a surprise when I'm traveling. I want no surprises. I told myself every so many miles that I put on my vehicle, wherever I'm at, whatever state I'm in, I'm going to make an appointment to get my engine inspected. That's just me. You don't have to do it, but that's what I want to do. This would go good with some like Hawaiian bread or some bread for the juices. Mm-hmm. After this, I'm done for the night. I didn't get much sleep last night because the cracker barrel that I was at, cracker barrel that I was at, I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, there was a guy in an RV and I pulled up to that cracker barrel around like five, six. He literally ran his generator from like five or six in the afternoon up until the time I left early this morning at 7.30, nonstop. And it was loud, so I didn't get no sleep. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. But if this video has taught you has taught you anything about my journey, I just take it easy. I'm in no rush to do everything all at once or be adventurous all at once. Me, I just take things, take it slow, take it easy, relax. I could do that now. <laughs> Michigan, I was a little bit stressed, getting a lot done. But now I'm in Florida and everything's done. I'm a Floridian. I'm good. My mission accomplished. Now I'm just enjoying Florida. I'm taking my time, looking, enjoying the state parks, uh, looking at in, the beaches, enjoying the beaches. I'm going to start tasting some of the food. With that being said, if y'all know any good restaurants, I, I pretty much want to eat. I pretty much eat everything. I'll try whatever. Uh, drop it in the comment box down below what restaurants I should try in Florida. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Ice cream. I love ice cream. Desserts. Drop in the comment box down below. And the comment that gets the most likes, I'll take a look at the restaurant. I'll go. I'll give it a try. Mm hmm I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and finish this up um, and just relax it's um, 78 degrees in here it was probably a little bit cooler before I cooked but it got a little hot I'm going to just turn my fan on open the vent um, it's a lot cooler tonight than it was the last last night was nice uh, I was really comfortable last night because the temperature was really nice but the night before and the night before and all that I couldn't sleep it was so hot I couldn't run my generator but I just turned on my fan and it helped um, but yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys again for just being an amazing community. I appreciate you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Uh, thanks for taking a little bit out of your time, a little bit of time out of your day just to hang out with me, have dinner, chat for a little bit. Uh, today was definitely a short video and, uh, it'll be, there'll be days like that, but, um, not every day will be short. I, I assure you that, but, uh, definitely be days where it's just, a chill video, a chill day in my life, you know, hanging out at the springs, relaxing, enjoying nature. Um, Florida is an amazing state. One thing I can say about Florida so far, there's never a dull moment. And tons of accidents. People just drive crazy. Everywhere I go, there's accidents. <laughs> but I'm grateful for the community, for you guys, my community. You guys are humble. You guys are just freaking awesome. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great community. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.